Welcome to Motive Emistery, where the wisdom of the ages meets the challenges of today. In today's video, we delve into the life and ideology of Nicol Machiavelli, a name synonymous with political strategy and philosophical insight. Machiavelli, born in Florence, Italy in 1469, was a diplomat, philosopher, and writer whose works have profoundly influenced political thought. Machiavelli's most renowned work, The Prince, offers a pragmatic approach to governance and power. His writings, often marked by a realistic view of political affairs, stripped of moralistic ideals, have sparked debates and discussions for centuries. Beyond his political treatises, Machiavelli was also a playwright and historian. His acute observations of political and human nature have made him an enduring figure in literature and political studies. Join us as we explore 30 of Machiavelli's most impactful quotes, unraveling their significance in today's global political landscape. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few experience what you really are. This observation by Niccolò Machiavelli reflects his understanding of the disparity between outward appearances and inner reality, a common theme in his writings on power and political strategy. It highlights the importance of perception in public life and the often hidden complexities of personal identity. In today's context, this quote resonates with the idea that people often judge based on surface-level impressions, underscoring the need for deeper understanding and authenticity in interactions. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. This statement by Niccolò Machiavelli underlines the significance of a leader's choice in advisors and associates, reflecting his belief in the importance of wise counsel and competent administration. It suggests that the quality of a leader can often be judged by the caliber of people they surround themselves with. In modern leadership contexts, this quote emphasizes the importance of teamwork and collaboration, as well as the need for leaders to choose their team wisely to ensure effective governance and decision-making. The lion cannot protect himself from traps, and the fox cannot defend himself from wolves. One must therefore be a fox to recognize traps, and a lion to frighten wolves. This analogy from Niccolò Machiavelli illustrates his perspective on the need for adaptability and versatility in strategy, whether in politics or personal affairs. It emphasizes the importance of being both cunning and strong, combining the cleverness of the fox with the boldness of the lion. In contemporary contexts, this quote encourages a balanced approach in life and leadership, advocating for the wisdom to recognize challenges and the strength to confront them. Never attempt to win by force what can be won by deception. This Machiavellian principle reflects his view on the effectiveness of cunning and subtlety over brute force in achieving one's goals especially in the realm of politics. It suggests that often, indirect methods and strategic deception can be more successful than direct confrontation. In modern strategic thinking, this quote highlights the value of psychological and tactical acumen in various fields, including business, diplomacy, and negotiation. Men are driven by two principal impulses, either by love or by fear. This statement by Niccolò Machiavelli captures the essence of his views on human nature and motivation. It reflects his belief that the core drivers of human behavior are emotional, rooted in either attraction or aversion. It suggests that understanding these emotional forces is crucial in influencing and leading others. In modern psychology and leadership, this concept resonates with the importance of emotional intelligence and the need to address both the fears and aspirations of people. It is not titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. This insight from Machiavelli emphasizes the concept that true value and respect are derived from an individual's actions and character, not merely from their social or official status. It challenges the notion that authority and respect are inherently connected to titles, instead proposing that they must be earned through merit and integrity. In contemporary society, this quote is a reminder of the importance of personal excellence and ethical conduct in enhancing one's reputation and influence, regardless of their formal position. The vulgar crowd always is taken by appearances, and the world consists chiefly of the vulgar. Niccolò Machiavelli's observation here reflects his somewhat cynical view of the general public's susceptibility to superficial appearances and their lack of deeper insight. It underscores the idea that perceptions are often shaped more by what is seen on the surface than by the underlying reality. 
In today's society, this quote serves as a cautionary reminder of the power of appearances and the importance of critical thinking to discern deeper truths. Men are so simple of mind and so much dominated by their immediate needs that a deceitful man will always find plenty who are ready to be deceived. In this statement, Machiavelli points out the ease with which people can be manipulated, especially when their decisions are driven by immediate and simple needs. It implies that due to the simplicity of their thinking, many are vulnerable to deceit and manipulation by more cunning individuals. In modern contexts, this serves as a warning about the susceptibility of people to manipulation in various forms, such as propaganda, marketing, or political rhetoric, and the need for vigilance and critical thinking. He who wishes to be obeyed must know how to command. This maxim by Niccolò Machiavelli highlights the importance of leadership skills and the understanding of authority for those who seek to lead. It implies that effective leadership requires more than just the desire to lead. It demands the ability to give clear directions and inspire obedience through competence and confidence. In modern leadership theory, this concept underscores the necessity of developing strong communication and decision-making skills to effectively guide and influence others. There is nothing more important than appearing to be religious. This statement, often attributed to Machiavelli, reflects his understanding of the role of religion and appearances in maintaining power and influence. It suggests that public perception, especially in terms of piety and religious devotion, is crucial in gaining and maintaining the trust and loyalty of the populace. In contemporary society, while the context may differ, the quote still resonates with the idea that public image and the perception of moral integrity play significant roles in leadership and public life. Any man who tries to be good all the time is bound to come to ruin among the great number who are not good. Hence a prince who wants to keep his authority must learn how not to be good and use that knowledge or refrain from using it as necessity requires. Machiavelli, with his acute understanding of power dynamics, knew the challenges of moral absolutism in governance. This quote reflects the idea that being virtuous in every situation may not always be practical or beneficial for a ruler, suggesting the need for strategic flexibility. In today's leadership, it raises questions about ethical dilemmas and the balance between moral integrity and pragmatic governance. Of mankind we may say in general they are fickle, hypocritical, and greedy of gain. This quote reflects Machiavelli's skeptical view of human nature, focusing on the less admirable traits that he believed predominated in society. It suggests a worldview where individuals are driven more by self-interest than by altruistic motives, influencing how they interact with others. In contemporary analysis, this perspective can inform an understanding of various social and political behaviors driven by personal gain. And here comes in the question whether it is better to be loved rather than feared, or feared rather than loved. It might perhaps be answered that we should wish to be both, but since love and fear can hardly exist together, if we must choose between them, it is far safer to be feared than loved. This famous Machiavellian question delves into the dynamics of power and leadership, weighing the effectiveness of being feared versus being loved. Machiavelli argues that while being loved is ideal, fear is a more reliable means to maintain authority and control as love is fickle and can change, but fear remains a constant motivator. In modern leadership and management theories, this raises important questions about the balance of respect and fear in effective leadership. It must be remembered that there is nothing more difficult to plan, more doubtful of success, nor more dangerous to manage than a new system. For the initiator has the enmity of all who would profit by the preservation of the old institution and merely lukewarm defenders and those who gain by the new ones. This quote from Machiavelli addresses the challenges inherent in introducing and implementing change, especially in established systems. It highlights the resistance that innovators often face from those who benefit from the status quo and the lack of strong support from beneficiaries of the new system. In modern organizational and social change contexts, it serves as a reminder of the complexities involved in reform and the importance of strategic planning and coalition building. Wisdom consists of knowing how to distinguish the nature of trouble and in choosing the lesser evil. This Machiavellian principle reflects the often difficult choices leaders must make, where ideal solutions are not always available. 
It emphasizes the need for practical wisdom in decision-making, recognizing that sometimes the best option is to choose the least harmful or problematic one. In contemporary decision-making, it underlines the importance of critical thinking and ethical consideration in navigating complex and ambiguous situations. Appear as you may wish to be. This succinct phrase captures Machiavelli's advice on the significance of appearances and the power of perception. It suggests that how one is perceived by others can be as important as their actual character or abilities, especially in positions of leadership or influence. In modern contexts, this insight is particularly relevant in the realms of personal branding, public relations, and social media, where image often plays a significant role in one's success and influence. Men ought either to be well treated or crushed, because they can avenge themselves of lighter injuries, of more serious ones they cannot. Therefore the injury that is to be done to a man ought to be of such a kind that one does not stand in fear of revenge. Machiavelli's perspective here showcases his belief in the necessity of decisive action in leadership, particularly when facing opposition. The quote implies that a leader should either be genuinely benevolent or utterly overpowering to prevent any intermediate responses that could lead to vengeance. In modern political and business strategies, it highlights the importance of clear and resolute decision-making, while also considering the ethical implications of such actions. He who becomes a prince through the favor of the people should always keep on good terms with them, which it is easy for him to do, since all they ask is not to be oppressed. Machiavelli here emphasizes the importance of maintaining the support of the populace for a ruler who has risen to power with their favor. This quote suggests that rulers should respect and not oppress the people, as their support is crucial for maintaining authority. In modern governance, it reflects the idea that leaders should be responsive to the needs and wishes of their constituents, ensuring their policies do not alienate or oppress them. There is no avoiding war. It can only be postponed to the advantage of your enemy. Machiavelli's assertion here deals with the inevitability of conflict, especially in the context of international relations and power dynamics. He suggests that avoiding or delaying conflict often gives the enemy a strategic advantage, as it provides them with more time to prepare. This concept remains relevant in contemporary military and diplomatic strategies, emphasizing the importance of timely and decisive action in the face of potential threats. In conclusion, the arms of others either fall from your back, or they weigh you down, or they bind you fast. This statement by Machiavelli highlights the perils of reliance on external support or alliances in matters of power and leadership. It implies that depending too heavily on others for support can lead to vulnerability, restrictions, or even betrayal, as such support may not always be reliable or in one's best interests. In contemporary leadership and strategy, this reinforces the importance of self-reliance and cautious engagement in partnerships or alliances. It is better to act and repent than not to act and regret. This maxim, often attributed to Machiavelli, underscores the value of decisive action and the risks of inaction. It suggests that it is preferable to make decisions and face potential remorse than to remain passive and later regret missing opportunities or failing to address challenges. In modern decision-making, this philosophy encourages proactive engagement and accepting the possibility of mistakes as part of the learning and growth process. He who builds on the people builds on the mud. Machiavelli's observation here serves as a metaphorical warning about the instability of relying solely on popular support for maintaining power. It implies that basing one's authority and position entirely on the whims of the public is precarious, as public opinion can be fickle and changeable. In contemporary politics and leadership, it highlights the need for a balanced approach that considers both public sentiment and stable, principled governance. Nature creates few men brave, industry and training makes many. This quote by Machiavelli emphasizes the transformative power of experience and education in developing bravery and other virtues. It suggests that while inherent courage is rare, systematic training and exposure to challenges can cultivate bravery in many individuals. In modern personal development and leadership training, it underscores the importance of nurturing resilience and courage through continuous learning and facing adversity. Everyone who wants to know what will happen ought to examine what has happened. Everything in this world in any epoch has their replicas in antiquity. 
This Machiavellian principle emphasizes the importance of historical understanding in predicting future events. It suggests that by studying past events, one can find patterns and lessons that are relevant to current and future situations. In contemporary times, this perspective is highly relevant in fields like political science, economics, and social studies, where understanding history is key to interpreting modern dynamics. A prince must not have any other object nor any other thought, but war, its institutions, and its discipline, because that is the only art befitting one who commands. Machiavelli asserts the primacy of military affairs in the role of a prince or leader, highlighting the need for focus on strategy and discipline. He suggests that mastery in the art of war is essential for maintaining power and effectively governing. In the context of modern leadership and statecraft, this quote may be interpreted as the need for leaders to understand and be prepared for conflict, while also balancing other aspects of governance. Half of these aren't even Machiavelli. Some are Plato, Thucydides, etc. Doesn't anyone check these? While this statement is not a quote from a historical figure, it raises a valid concern about the accuracy of attributing quotes, especially in the era of widespread information sharing. It underscores the importance of fact-checking and verifying sources, especially when dealing with historical texts and philosophical teachings. In the realm of education and scholarship, it's a reminder of the need for critical thinking and research skills to discern the authenticity of information. Men never do good unless necessity drives them to it. But when they are free to choose and can do just as they please, confusion and disorder become rampant. This quote, attributed to Machiavelli, reflects his cynical view of human nature, suggesting that people are more likely to act morally out of necessity rather than inherent goodness. It implies that in the absence of external constraints, individuals may tend towards self-interest, leading to chaos and disorder. In modern social and behavioral studies, this perspective is important for understanding human motivation and the role of societal structures in shaping behavior. One can say this in general of men, they are ungrateful, disloyal, insincere and deceitful, timid of danger and avid of profit. Love is a bond of obligation that these miserable creatures break whenever it suits them to do so, but fear holds them fast by a dread of punishment that never passes. This quote reflects Machiavelli's cynical and pragmatic view of human nature, emphasizing the manipulative aspects of fear over love in maintaining power and control. It suggests that fear is a more reliable tool for ensuring obedience and loyalty than love, which Machiavelli sees as fickle and easily broken. In modern analysis of leadership and psychology, this perspective can be useful in understanding the dynamics of power and influence, though it is often critiqued for its ethical implications. My view is that it is desirable to be both loved and feared, but it is difficult to achieve both and if one of them has to be lacking, it is much safer to be feared than loved. This quote encapsulates Machiavelli's famous dilemma about the balance of love and fear in leadership. He argues that while being both loved and feared is ideal, it is often necessary to choose fear as a more reliable means of maintaining control. In contemporary discussions of leadership styles, this view provides a lens through which to consider the effectiveness and ethical implications of different approaches to influence and authority. Men sooner forget the death of their father than the loss of their patrimony. This statement illustrates Machiavelli's view on human priorities and the power of material possessions. He suggests that people are more affected by and attached to their wealth and material assets than to emotional or familial bonds. This perspective highlights the potent influence of financial and material interests in shaping human behavior and relationships. In contemporary society, this observation remains relevant, particularly in discussions about materialism, wealth, and their impact on personal and societal values. Appreciation for joining our journey.